Oops. It's amazing how shows like take a season to really pick up steam. You know what I mean? Like that first season it came out, people liked the show. It was good, whatever. Rami obviously gets a golden globe, but like a good show that gets picked up for season two, people catch on on a, in a big way during season two. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then Mahershala as well, adding yeah. Mahershala. You know, so you can't. for those of you who don't know, Mahershala Ali is in season two of Rami. Rami told me that he had asked if he could be on the show. Yes. That's fucking insane. The like most coveted actor asking you if he can be on your show. Like, can you picture a hotter situation? <laughs> Dude, speaking of the hottest situation, Mahershala's voice is pornographic to me. <laughs> I know. The way he speaks, and I think for me, honestly, weirdly, it was the most erotic when he was on House of Cards. Oh, wow. I loved his character on House of Cards. I, obviously, in Moonlight, he was spectacular and all this Amazing. other stuff that he's done. But his kind of like Washington, D.C. insider, uh, political lobbyist, correspondent, whatever the hell he, he was in, in House of Cards, I thought his voice suited that role so well. And boy, it is a – that is a lovely voice. Wait, it was, I, I didn't watch it. wet, dude. Was his voice? Was his voice? This, did he change his voice? I didn't watch it, uh, House of Cards, or was it like? It was. It was. I don't know. It was just. I remember being very struck by it. It's no different than the voice that he speaks with in. Um, in I don't think in. Uh, you know, in Rami, or I actually haven't seen season two, so I haven't seen his role yet. Um, but or you know or in moonlight but in green book his voice was different he obviously played like a yeah. very erudite character in in green book dude he's such his Great voice word. is like um uh, very captivating like i remember i was like hella nervous i had like this like uh one scene but like i i was too panicky leading up to it like i had just too much anxiety like it wasn't it, um like i didn't have that that many lines but i was so scared and i was so anxious that um i get there it's early in the morning i'm in the trailer with with my homie and he's i'm pacing and he's like yo yo he's like you've memorized the lines you just gotta chill it was just chill man sit down and i'm just like pacing back and forth, like a psychopath i'm like but it's him <laughs> and then i go fuck it i need like i need to go outside i'm gonna go to sandwich or something and i go outside dude and it's it's like uh it's, it's, this is in New York. There's like nobody out there. There's just trailers and there's like nobody, bro. It's like five in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. And I see some guy from a distance walking over. And I go, no. In my head, I go, no. And it's it's him. And I've never met him, bro. And I'm like, oh, no. oh fuck. <laughs> like, do I say hi? I think I said that. I go, do I say hi? Like, how do I do I go a handshake? But it, he got close and he goes, he opened with, he was just like, hey, uh, it was my he goes, hey, well, nice to meet you, my brother. He's like a fan of the show. Like he was like, he, you know what I mean? And then we like dapped it up and it was happened so fast. Like, and then he just dipped out and I'm like, and I was just by myself. <laughs> just like, <laughs> You're shook, dude. I was shook, but I was still nervous. And then it just got, eventually it got, it, it, I was calm. And then we went back another day. And then he just was like, dude, man, he made me so um, chill, compassionate, and uh, uh, silly too. I remember I was like, I had to take a, I had to take a shit. <laughs> so I go, I go out to them. I go, how long before we come back? And they're like, I, I don't know. And I'm like, damn it. So I go take a, uh, a shit. But I can hear on the radios, it feels like it's frantic. Like they might be going back. So I cut the shit in half. I go, okay, you just gotta stop. Like it's like you know. So now I'm, I leave the building and I'm just like walking hella awkward. But I don't think anyone, when I turn the corner, I think I'm alone. And I'm like, ah, fuck. And then is <laughs> the only one out there. And he turns around and he goes, uh, he goes, he goes brother, he goes, uh, what's wrong? And I should have said nothing. I should have said nothing. And I go, hey, man, uh, I shit, I, I shit. I went to take a shit, but I thought we were going to come back, but we didn't. So it's kind of like a half a shit. So I'm just walking like, and then he's just quiet and I'm quiet because I revealed this stuff. And then he goes, is there anything I could do to help? And then we pause and I'm like, what? <laughs> and we start laughing and he goes, 
nah, there's nothing. What can I do? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm uncomfortable hearing this story. I can't I imagine what it was like. Jesus, Dave. If you like that video, check out our channel where we have way more videos. Fucking, I just don't know how to do this. This is unbelievable. If you like that video, we have way more videos on our channel. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications if you want to know when there are new ones. Um, but if not, check them out and we appreciate it. Oops.